All right, so returned we have to this run. We are, well, I think I left off last time saying what we were at, but might as well say it twice. We're just refueling right now, I believe, and just going to run back for repairs again. We really only have one accessible point of repair on the entire map. And I think from that, we will come back into Haran it took to go to Gizram, deal with the attack groups, then pull Hattu's Exelancy of modules. We'll see what money looks like at that point in time. Kareath is not a good idea until the groups are dead, so we'll take care of those and then we'll hit Kareath for repairs, I guess. Which then puts us pretty good for a move north into. Yeah, I'll probably grab it until here. We'll figure it out. Right now, we just gotta see what happens about this strike group showing up on my forehead while I grab said fuel. Which is honestly a bit of a big risk. Alright, so. Zoomer is to the north. Two groups out here. Probably there. That might even be good. There might be a bunch up of stuff on of trade groups on Gizram or Zyram maybe right now, which would suck. Unfortunately, the repairs are not prioritizing engines, so we're gonna burn about a tenth of our fuel for no reason at all. What direction? Directly into us. Okay, so they are still roaming. Cool. Let's go back to Gaz um, and get our repair. Right now our max speed's 83, so a long range jump like this is gonna kind of burn a hell of a fuel, but right now the big priority I think will be getting ourselves back up to full health for that next strike group fight. Yeah, that's burning range like a, like hell. Fortunately, it's, yeah, it's gonna cost a lot of money to get that done, but what can you do? So we're just gonna land her in the ship works. I've adjusted my mass sensitivity and it's kind of hurting me a little bit, but I can do shit a bit better. I need to docks. This will do the same old spot we've done three times before. down to three sprints, it's kind of painful. We'll get that. Well, you know, I might as well just install it into a design, right? Um, where should I put APS? Well, here's an obvious one. What is the APS mounting right now? Yikes. I 
should be a bit more broad. Speeds back to 93, let's go. I actually have K-15Bs now, it's interesting. Let's see if there's anything I missed. Cause it's easier to look at this once you have everything installed. What's the APS coverage now? APS coverage, APS coverage. It's pretty good. Leave something to be desired, but that'll that'll handle a lot of things. Um, I think I'll put an IRST down here. Yeah. I have three modules, so I can spare some extra. Okay. Did I ever check? Recheck fuel ammo? Nah, something here. Okay. Now I must feel like weird. I'd change some sensitivities and whatnot. Oh, I, I pressed shift longer than I really needed to, to be honest. Mm. We're going to treat this Artana back just to be more direct, get the intel points on the strike group, then go into Haran and Chuktu. Because, like, intel points would be really nice right now, even if it'll cost a bit of money. I wonder where that strike group is. It'll cost me fuel money, I'm not going to be buying fuel at full cost. Or full efficiency, sorry. So I can do this, 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 then that. And the problem really is, I don't hit Haran for free fuel, and like this amount of range is definitely not getting us back to Haran cheaply. The other option is go to Chukdu, get full fuel, dive down, hit Zartana for the intel, hit Gizram. We can't afford to hit it too, so it's too close to the carrier. Then get into that fight. It's a really tough question. It's a question of, do I want to waste some fuel money and get intel first, or do I want to take the cheaper costs to get around and then risk going through Haran first? Without a Tarkan on the horizon, we have to take the cheap route. Hmm. Flame went to Betharin. He's probably coming up to Haran, if anything, so that's actually maybe good, but I don't think we'll get there for him. Nope. Looks like he's roaming the Shubat in Little Run. Interesting. I really don't know where this strike group is, and it's kind of spooking the hell out of me, because I, I, I really should have fought it by now. It's really stupid, honestly, running into Haran, but I really want to get, like, a... I want to get, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Captain Quarters intel if I can. I want to know where Tarkan is so I can start solving my money problem. Oh, cool, free money. 
Hmm, I wonder, I wonder what trade group that could possibly be. Oh, it was just an Odyssey too, so I just didn't really even buff the garrison. Was that? No, that's okay. Having APS makes that feel a lot better. Don't have to worry about the 180 mil. Alright. Money, that's good. Survivor's crew cabin, radio room. Damn. A lot of plan didn't go as far as I hoped. Ooh, five times what 600, that's 3,000. There's more money there though. Well, that's anything exploding soon. Ammunition is so to go. Okay, it's cool. Because interesting fact. Because I was immediately going for the survivors, uh, I think technically the game actually does know the route to pick up the ammo and go to survivors, and it might have just been at a 1 50 50 chance of uh, kindness penalty. But as long as you do the straightest line possible survivors, if the survivors die, the game doesn't penalize you for them. Anyways, I can take this, I'll take cabins, then the Sarmat, then the feel. All right, what do we got? A fearsome, useless, triumphant. Hmm, a one hundred M. That's that's interesting. Flower. It's pretty useless. Oh, come on, sprints. Okay, I need sprints. Sprints are so hard to come by and so useful in this run. So, uh. Yeah, even I, I literally, I'm literally buying a whole ship for those four sprints. I'm not even not even joking here. I don't need Sea Whiz. I can sell a bunch of these and buy them back after immediately. I don't need to mount any more sprints. I think no, actually I do. Ship works. No, it was I'm an idiot. Oh yes, the whole piece that's not even on screen. I guess that means that it... I don't know. Wrong button. Right. My beauties. Should I... Yeah, maybe I should. Oh, sensors, right. The sensors are also valuable. Right, the rest of the ship's not valuable to me, I think. No. Radio. Actually, I need more fire suppressants. What is my fire suppressant situation looking like? Hmm. I see, I remember there being more. I think there's a double here that needs to be put in. I'll leave only small Elant domes and two FCRs on for now. Let me just slap some extra sprints, though. I have no clue what my sprint ordering is like right now, though. That'll be enough. I'm going to save the other ones. And then I'll... Yeah, I'll put two fire presents in here. Like there should be. Sure, that's a bit much for a 10 hour pair, but I can get it done over the next two cities. I didn't save it. Okay, thank god. All those. I don't know. I'll stagger this. And then it, it counts as an art design. There we go. Didn't check supplies. Big brain move. Actually, I should also be buying those spares because our mat's back as well. Just having parts is nice. 
All right. Um, my my head is just in the clouds today. Proxy 180, baby. Inside 57's pretty typical. Don't need to have inside 180 at this point. Right, what was there? Is there anything else I need? I don't... Right, uh, nukes off the Triumph and our 10th thing. Oh, that's a big FCR. Wrong button again. That's a big fire control radar. I completely forgot that. That's something I want later. I don't need this many MR500s. I'm not even mounting them. <laughs> um, honestly, I probably don't need all the star mats, but they're kind of like a bank of money. I only have four ammo racks left. I might need a little bit of spare parts in that regard. Eh. Alright. Oh. I'll do. Alright. Well, that took way longer than any right to. Oh. I have excess fuel here, too. Let's actually, yeah, let's check those sprints on and whatnot. With the unknown strike group. No Should not have sat here. I knew in the back of my head that I shouldn't have sat here, but I did anyways. It's coming from northeast. It hasn't arrived yet, it's not a missile. And it didn't jam in response, which a Nomad can do, so it's not a strike group either. And it doesn't have an ELINT rating, so it's not a cruise. It's probably a trade group. But what? A trade group shouldn't be coming here because I was just spotted. It can't be aircraft, or it's too. It's getting too fast. find out. It's getting stronger. I think it's landing. It landed. And engine cut on the IRST, so we know it's landed, whatever it is. It's probably a trade group. You can take trade groups that have a landed, but that's about it. Yep, it's trade group. No, it's like that. <laughs> Strategic moment. Okay, more free my Ooh, Kadesh's are kind of big. No, I don't think- they don't have any armor parts, so they're actually not worth a lot. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. No. Get the fuck away from me. No. 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 Bad. No lightnings here. Ah, 100 mil on the top side. This is gonna suck. I really should be been prioritizing what's above me and not below me. Oh, it's in our lightning. I didn't lose any sensors, so it's not bad. We'll do the repairs at the Intel study once we know what the hell's going on in terms of that strike group deal. Uh, fuel tanks hull. Sell the excess fuel and get moving. We 
lost a cage 15 feet. Rip. It was definitely worth it, though. Direction? Is there another one coming? I... Hey, jeez. I... I really want to know where the strike group is more at this point. I've got funds now for a while. <laughs> Bruh. They are way behind what I expect. They started, like, right next to the other strike group. I don't understand why they're that far away. Next tack. Where's next tack? Oh. Miscarious, okay. That's not that's not very close at all. Let's get the repairs done for that bit of damage we took. I need APS for the top side at some point. Thirteen hours. I should land for it, but I've been told that this many landings is getting fucking boring, and I'm not gonna lie, it is. And I have way more breathing room than I expected. And the question now that the matter is, do I get greedy and go for hit 2-7 before Gizram so I can get enough APS to do topside and then I'm, like, horrendously set? Uh, or do I just smash Gizram? The, the threat is the carrier response to me being spotted. Eh. Ooh. That adds to my reasonings. To move towards Gizrim. Uh, the big thing about missile carriers, by the way, if you haven't understand why I'm going for the carrier group for the missile group. Um, now, I don't know why the carrier... Normally, a carrier will respond to you being spotted by not jetting where and engage you. Maybe there's like a buffer zone so they don't play some try and run at you outside of the, the area. But um, missile carriers... Uh, they have an IRST, so they will see me coming and launch missiles at me anyway. So no, there's pretty much no way about it with a Seva that I'm going to not fight their missiles. Besides not going to any of the cities connected or nearby. Because they'll get up and run at those cities if they know I'm there. And again, with a Seva, you're, you're spotted doing anything. 90 can't do anything at all. So really, the only thing to worry about when it... Wait, is that an aircraft carrier group? You know, this entire time I thought this was a missile carrier group. Wow. Wow. I'm now more confused how I got away with a lot of shit. Like, way more confused. Wow. Well then. Well, if that's the case, I'm probably going to be fighting a carrier detachment no matter what, huh? Let's go for Hitusa. And if we have to fight a bunch of planes... No, we can't afford to fight a bunch of planes on Sava. Yeah, we'll take out Gizram. Then we'll move back to Hitusa. And looking at our range, we should have enough to run Zyrem or a Chukdu. We have a lot of money now, so I think we'll just run a Chukdu. Yeah, alright. The only hope is that whatever the hell is here is on the RST, in which case, you know what, honestly? Yeah, I'll just go around the side. Probably should have intercepted that. I would know shit it gives room. Whatever. Oh. Let's do this one manually because I really want a lot of accurate bearing. Wait. Bruh. If you don't know, uh, Al Sahir uh, callouts never decrease the bar. So you can immediately just auto resolve them and know. And just, just track his direction if you see that it's not moving. Is there a. I don't know if something spotted us or if there's. No, we would see the planes on radar right now. No, it's just them. I'm not sure why there's IRST. But wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Wait, what? I should have... 
I should have one times heat, more than one times elin. I should have 1.4 times elin. How did I not? Oh. Oh. It's a fucking Komoran, right? Komoran's radar range is absolutely tiny, so you don't see it on elin until like the last second. It's kind of annoying sometimes. Oh well. I probably could have sat here. But now I gotta do this. Alright, establish top and then smash. Oh, yay, thank you. I missed, of course. Oh, it's an MRL. Oh, it's an MRL. No. Get away from me. Get away from me. Please die. I missed. Here's the one reason why I should have taken, like, way back at the start when the first level I got, like, a veteran gunner came up as an option, and now it's like, no veteran gunner for you. No. Preloaded guns is nice, so whatever. Is there another E? Wait, is there still another thermal sig though? Uh, I don't like that. There's no jammer though when I turn the radar on, right? So like, I'm not sure what the hell's going on with that. I really should be hard thinking about it, but right now I'm in a state of pretty solid shit where I can't really, I know I can't really do much against it besides throwing a, a, a KH-15P at things, but, like, I can still do that later, and it would have shot missiles at me already if I knew I was here, so, there's not really much I can actually do about what I'm facing here. See, good. Interesting? Putting on crew survival gear? I, I don't know. I, I think I brain farted a bit and it didn't need him. Right, four times 800, that's 3,200. So flares are the best option for money here. Alright, we're about to get missile. So instead of landing, we take off if we can. Too late. It's an A100, we won't take off in time. Okay, we'll be taking off before the second A100 now. Wait, was there a missile carrier and? No, I think we're fighting the strike group's missile battery. No, strike groups don't have eight hundreds. Wait, was there a missile group and an aircraft carrier group here? Maybe I, I, I maybe it was a missile carrier group and I misread it earlier. Also, the AI is cheating. That's nice. I forgot that the AI cheats on hard and can shoot missiles faster than one per fifteen minutes. Okay, well, 
the strike group's probably moved to here already. We either let the missile carriers go, and we'll have to fight those missiles again. Or we push in and we get in a brawl with all this shit at once. I think pulling back, getting more parts here, getting fuel, getting more APS, it'll obviously secure the fight better. So let's just go to Gizram. Let's land, let's pick up the nukes so we don't have to come here again. Pick up the nukes, pick up whatever is in supplies. So then we got what? 100, 100, 100. Five, eight hundreds, just just eight one hundred downs, really? No K fifteens? Okay. Cool, there's laser guided. Fifty seven and send, and then we are leaving, probably. Is there any no. no nothing to sell. Any worth anything on the shipworks? So, Virus presence and we leave. We back the fuck off now. We have fuel. Well, the beautiful things about the Seva, we have fuel. We can just back off as we please. We're gonna run south and have that be that. We can run to Zartana, actually. Not worth it. It's a bit out of the way. I already kind of know what's going on now. I guess that transport was coming, after all. Left my radar on way too long. Hello. Oh, another Gladiator MRL. I don't want proxy, I want HE. here for, kind of, well, Cat's Cabin would have been nice, right, sprints, cool, standard KH-15s, these are super useful because you can shoot carriers down, I think I've said that before, I was able to afford all the APS I wanted, that's good, standard A100s are also interestingly useful, but not as much. I think that'll be good for now, in terms of standard A100s. Oh, they have, they have all the radars and shit I want to. Okay, big radar for later. I need, I want the jammers and large unit dome and shit. Oh, I want everything here, man. Having parts would be nice. I don't just need this many A100 ends. need all my cage 15 Ps while I where's my 15 Ps 
Just because I have nothing but A100 ends. I really hope I get K15 ends at some point. I need them. Um... That'll do it for now. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. This is good. It bankrupted me, but it's still good either way. You just gotta. You just gotta, huh? You really gotta make me pick. I need spare spark mats. Fuck it. If I blow this arm out of it, I'm probably gonna use morale anyways. The rest of the money's earmarked for fuel. Alright. Um. I should actually do repairs here. Just quick non dock repairs. Let's complete the upper APS. This works. That one doesn't, yeah. all my APS? Yeah, it's all my APS. That gives me a much more robust top side protection, which is what I want. Alright. We wait that repair out, then we can, we go to Chuktu, we get new fuel, then we load an A100, and... You know, we could just load cage 15s and throw them at Cyrum, and then we don't have to deal with those missiles. I think that's what I'll do. I'll load a cage 15. Hmm, it'll probably just hit the, whatchamacallit. I'll probably just go for the garrison ships. Yeah, I think a double A100 is probably better. So we can ignore that one safely. Same for that. That one, maybe. Nope. Right out. A lot of back and forths. Kids is why we mounted an extra IRST up. I love just waiting through the launches. It's fun. Don't run. Come on. Thank you. Ooh, a caster. Big money. Is that the meteor? Yeah, it is. 
wheels. <laughs> the poor child. The poor child. The funny thing is, like, the meter is one of the more effective ships against this setup of a sub, because APS can't stop. Well, free money, eh? Free money, but we got spotted. Eh, whatever. That's right, I was supposed to switch to A1 hires, wasn't I? I'm really debating my missile armament here, because A100s aren't very consistent against enemy missiles, but it's a possibility to save sprints, which is just absolute godsend, because sprints are just so taxed in this. As opposed to just making tactical combat. Yeah, I know. As opposed to, like, tactical combat's already pretty easy at this point with this much APS. Supplies. All right. Well then, he's already in his missile range, so we can't do much about that. Looks like we're gonna have to wait him out outside the city and jump him. Helant range decreased because we're landed, so we gotta wait a second while we'll we acquire them. They might be going for Kairath. No. What? They moved away. Hmm? Let's go snap them out. Maybe they were. Transiting to Gizrim? I didn't really pay too much attention to the bearing to be honest. There's a lot of... Are they all just stacked up? Okay, well, that's interesting. I have no clue where the strike was, because it was last here. It's gone somewhere, but it's not my even range. Oh, Never mind. Can we track his movement, maybe? Or go straight for him? We're still just barely outside of which I'm gonna call it range here. Get a little bit closer so that we don't lose him when we land. Oh, is he moving for... Just a trade group, okay. Trade group heading that way. Uh, wait, it is an aircraft carrier. I I am utterly confused at this point at what the hell this is, because it, it it was a one hundred, so like a missile carrier came out. Is it like an aircraft carrier on top of a missile carrier? And the game thinks to tell me it's both. I absolute confusion at this point. Straight grip's not making any movements. You got nothing but time. There's no rush right now. They... I'm... Yeah. There's no rush at all right now. Time's not worth much. I'm going to skip as much of that as possible. So we're just waiting for the 24, 48, whatever the hell amount of hours it takes for the strike group to decide to move somewhere. Our trade group. Where is it? No? Oh, no, it's another Elin. So trade group's flying by on this path.
shouldn't get too close to us. Yeah, they didn't get close enough to us. They'll get further away now. The big thing is we're under the strike group's main missile. Oh, what? Excuse me? I think the strike group's going back for its Kiva now. Interesting. Well, we're probably still in the strike group's missile range, but we can run the risk, right? the missile carrier group taking off. They saw my me on IRST and so they're gonna take off and launch their missiles now. There's the first one. Alright, we're off to a good start. Second one. Shit, forgot about that. Oh! Wait, another one? Oh uh, no, it's just the thermal signature that I'm taking off. It is an aircraft carrier group and a missile carrier group. Alright, well, we're gonna get absolutely... This is gonna suck. 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 Fighting aircraft carriers in a Sebastopol is absolute suffering. Alright, we got kind of lucky. The problem being, you're so obscenely slow that at longer ranges, it will strike you multiple times before you can actually reach the carrier. Hello. So let me guess. Yeah, it's 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 a missile carrier group and an aircraft carrier group. And the game decided to only show me one tactical group when I Alright. <laughs> somewhat better than expected. <laughs> it really, I was right. It was a miss, it, I was never wrong, it turns out. It was, it was a missile carrier group and it was an aircraft <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. I have not seen that. I, I think I might have seen that once before, but that still surprised the hell out of me because I didn't really remember it much. Oh, captain's captain, that's good. Um, let me guess, we're gonna get missile by the strike group now. Yeah, that's definitely missiles from the strike group. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. 
Do I abandon the salvage so that I'm airborne for the next missiles? That's the real question. What? Well, I only took a generator out. It's not so bad. Eh, fuck it. I will just casually salvage and then I'll run at him. I really want to know where Tarkan is and I haven't gotten this shit for a while. No second missile? Not even two? The back strike group should have a nomad. There should be at least two missiles. I mean, every strike, every strike group missile ship has two missiles or more. So, well, actually it's all two. North of city Zyron. Not far then. Not far. Just missiles north of Zyron. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the radar sick. The, I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna chill then. They're not shooting more missiles at me, right? This has been a very weird game, not gonna lie. Free money. Let's go. Bit of a yike. That missile came in and plowed shit. I don't think it's worth going to docks. Just got a pair of cage 15 keys in. Maybe they shot. Okay, theory. Maybe the strike group shot missiles at me at some point and missed. Right? I get shot at my, like, my last home position or something. It missed. And it was only done rearming one missile when it fired that missile. And then it immediately took off to run at me. So I think that's what happened. That probably explains things. Somewhat. I'm absolutely blessed that I decided to install that second IRSD, though. It's absolutely been a godsend to me. Issue send, whatever. Alright. Got our two missiles loaded up. You guys have to remember, stay above them or to the sides. I really hope they don't start shooting more missiles at me. That's just their initial thermal signature, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, it's just their initial thermal. Alright, this is the part where I just say, fuck it. Oh yeah, I did fight the sixth strike group. This is the fifth. There's a nomad though. Oh, what? Did that explosion just hit the right side of the ship as well? I think that explosion bugged a bit and it like overpenetrated the nomad or something. Or maybe actually it might have just been a sprint that hit it from the other side. Oh, it's left engines. One of them has failed. Maybe no, it's okay. It's just leaning. Okay, well we didn't get much done with our missiles. Could turn around and load more, but. We don't really need to, do we? No, I was right. I took an engine out. Alright. Let's do this shit.
with that, we are absolutely home free to run to the north. There is no strike group left on the map. Which means the only threats going forward are running out of fuel, ammo, whatever the hell, and from there, dealing with uh, just TAC groups going north. There are some interesting lattices I've seen of TAC groups that have been pretty damn threatening. More threatening than the early strike groups are, for sure. Um, and missiles ignore the APS system, so there's a very good chance of something happening, but at this point, I'm... I'm about 80% confident we'll reach Kiva. 90, 95. This is like GG moment for getting to Kiva. Mostly, in my opinion. We'll see. Alright. Large Elan Dome. That could be nice. Let's see if those Amicus Wars. Okay. Free stuff. Never have to land again this entire campaign. Might do one or two thematically. Well, actually, no. At the end of the campaign, I gotta do some stuff. A lot of stuff involving landings, but. Yes, this will do nicely. I can like, just freely sit here for 80 hours, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, with that, we can now afford to start putting good stuff on again. To remember the layout. So I want to keep an RST here. It's only an FCR. I think there's a small elint here. Small elint there, right? So there's the big elints. So there's like a fire control radar here and the uh, elint dome here. Control radar here, and I don't remember what the hell sits up there. Was it a fire control radar that sits there? Oh no, the Elint Dome sits here, so this is the big fire control radar, right? Right. Wait. Maybe it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. Yeah, he only dumps something out like that. Right, because she has the funny fire control radar skin. Right, bigger elant sigs, bigger fire control radar sigs. This will be nice for moving on. I'll leave that blank because that's a weak point to have a IRST there. Oh, they sell flash here. Never bought flash. Interesting, go me. I think I'll need the extra elant dome. Radio. Alright, so with that, we sit here and we consider our moves north. I'll probably cut this video and then do the moves north tomorrow. The good news is, even though I've only gotten a short distance north uh, today, there will probably be very quick mo movement. To get to Kiva. Well, it probably only takes like an hour of gameplay at this point, two hours, two and a half. It's very quick. Once there's no strike groups to worry about, you're really just worrying about static assets, things that don't at all push you. Which is one of the unfortunate things. One of the unfortunate things. One of the gripes I have on 16 is, is all it did was just make strike groups more dangerous and garrisons. All, it didn't make attack groups smarter, right? Fine, shut up. Right, we actually we have to go back to Was it north of Zyram or Gizram that there was a Tarkan? We'll hit Dadon, we'll get fuel, we'll hit Zar Sardar and we'll get intel points on more attack groups. Then we'll hit We'll just go for Rage. And then buy whatever. Fuel, nod for more spare parts, air bill, move for north. There's no reason to go onto this leg. Hey, look. 
We may yet have a little bit of content left in us today. Probably should just leave the fire control radar on, to be honest. Oh no, they spotted me after they spotted me. So yeah, I'm just gonna hold shift through this so we don't have to do that at the start of the next episode, and then I think we will call it. Alright, with that, we are repaired. 